I was told that you were rejected by three different orders, each time for weakness of constitution. Your Holiness, we can serve our weakness or we can serve our purpose, not both. My sisters, if we are to build an empire of hope, it seems we must first conquer New York. Filthy dagos. They just keep coming. Mio papà si è suicidato. Mia mamma è morta di tifo. In America, the greatest nation on earth, rats have it better than the children of five points. It's not safe. Not for you. Be careful. This place will eat you alive. <laughs> Doctors tell me five years. Five would be a miracle. In that case, I should not do it. I need an orphanage with more room, where my children can be children. I'd like you to keep your crime and your filth out of this neighborhood. The mayor will find a way to get you out. You have an election coming up, do you not? I believe I'm being threatened by a nun. You have swatted the hornet's nest. Get out, Dagon! Go! I want the best hospital for your people and for mine. We have to show America we are all people of dignity. This project is overly ambitious, perhaps unrealistic. We are old, or we die. This is how I learned to live in America. Cabrini, you would have made an excellent man. Oh my goodness, Alejandro, we're here again, brother. This is this is such hey, a. I mean, it excited. feels like yesterday that we were doing this for Sound of Freedom, and now we're jumping into an even bigger masterpiece like i don't think people are going to understand until they see this film for those who are just joining us i'm jordan Harmon, president of angel studios and co-founder alejandro monteverde is our co-host today the director of cabrini but also sound of freedom that so many people literally 30 plus million people saw in theaters there are millions and millions of people who are watching it on, on amazon it's been in the top 10 on amazon for like a month and uh man it's it's exciting I'm excited for the world to see the trailers that we're working on right now. Oh my goodness, some of those trailers we're working on right now are gonna be gonna be fun to drop. But the um, anyway, so we've got a ton for this live stream, everybody in the Angel audience. There is a ton coming up. We have in this live stream an exclusive sneak peek, an exclusive scene that you can only watch in this live stream. So make sure you uh, share with your friends and family. At the end of this live stream, we're gonna edit it out. You will not be able to see this outside of this live stream. And so uh, make sure you get your friends and family, get everybody ready. We're going to have this exclusive scene of Cabrini. Cabrini is an incredible story of a woman who challenged everything. I mean, she just challenged the status quo to the max and she was so courageous and so powerful. Um, but the more important thing is not only was she courageous and powerful, but Alejandro did such a good job of painting the picture of someone. Uh, someone once said uh, when they watched this film, they said, "This isn't like a. This isn't like um, how did Neil say it, Alejandro? When he said this is a this isn't a motion picture. It's a. Um, I can't remember what he said. It was um, it's a moving a, mo a moving painting. Yeah, it's a moving painting. He's like, this isn't a motion picture. This is a motion painting. This film, every shot, feels like a painting that." an incredible artist spent years crafting and doing, and we're going to get into some of that with Alejandro, but guys, we're so, so excited. So make sure you comment your questions right now. Uh, you can like subscribe and, uh, that gets us going in the algorithm, but comment your questions in the comment section on the angel app or on YouTube or on Facebook or wherever you're at. We'll be getting to questions as we go along in this live stream, but we are so honored to have Alejandro here because this is such an incredible, incredible film that's coming out on March 8th. Um, we have an, a lot of announcements. So an exclusive sneak peek. We've got a, a, uh, an interview from one of the great actors. 
I still haven't heard the story of how you got John Lithgow, Alejandro. How did you get John Lithgow to, <laughs> to be in this movie? Tell me about that. Well, this movie, I, I did not want to convince anybody. I wanted the script, the story to speak for itself. And this was a, a, a film that pretty much was calling the team. This was a collective call in ways. And, you know, I, I, we just sent him the script and automatically he connected with the story and it was such a great honor with him. And the film, it was not very conventional. So it was uh, also, you know, very refreshing to, uh, to, you know, explore all these different changes of cinema with, with the actors. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we're going to jump right into it, guys. The first announcement we have right now is this is we're eight weeks out still from March 8th or even maybe a little bit more than eight weeks out but on Women's Day on March 8th um, we will be releasing this film in theaters but today right now tickets are going on sale you can buy tickets at angel.com slash cabrini and tonight only you can get 50% off for being an early bird and getting these tickets right now now I want to talk about the importance of of buying tickets early and, and why this matters. So a lot of people are going, well, you know, I don't know what I'm doing on March 8th. And I get it. That's why Angel created what's called a uh, ticket protection program. When you get on there and you see your tickets that you want to do for March 8th and, you know, opening week, whatever time, and you're not certain what your schedule is going to be, don't worry. You can get your tickets. And then any time between now and March 8th, you can change the date the time for a ticket of equal or lesser value um, up to an hour before the showtime. So you don't need to stress about buying the tickets and then not knowing what your schedule is about. We are creating a solution for you so you don't have to worry about that. So go to angel.com slash Cabrini. You can get 50% off um, right now, um, only tonight. And you can see on angel.com slash Cabrini, the discounts automatically applied. There's uh, a, And you can select your showtimes on, on the website. And, uh, and when we have people buying tickets this early, it shows the theaters how much demand there is for this movie and for what these stories that amplify light are. And so with this particular film, we've never actually opened up, for those who've watched it with His Only Son and Sound of Freedom and After Death and, and The Shift, we are so grateful for all your support, but we never actually had this many locations available eight weeks out. Like today, their tickets are available in over 1,500 locations. Now that's incredible. Like, and the reason that the theaters are, are giving us so many locations right out the gates, but we wanna get up to like, you know, 3,000 plus, that's the goal is like, let's get them to as many theaters as possible. You know, Sound of Freedom ended up being in like over, I think 3,400 at one given time, but it ended up being in like over 4,000 throughout the entire run in the United States. But the reason that's so powerful is because the, um, that means that it's closer to people. They can will be more likely to, to see it, and it'll have a broader impact um, with this film. So again, angel.com slash Cabrini. You can go get your tickets right now, 50% off. Um, but I want to I wanna spend a little bit of time uh, showing you guys some other deals that we have tonight. You can see that I'm wearing this shirt that says Cabrini on it. And this shirt on the back has a really beautiful quote. And Alejandro, I'm going to have you speak to this quote, but it says, the world is too small for what I intend to do. Alejandro, what does that mean? Why, why that quote? Why did she say that? Oh, I can't get, I can't hear him. Can you hear him? Can you hear me, Alejandro? I think we lost your audio. You there? No, not getting any audio. seems like we've lost Alejandro's audio. I apologize, everybody. Let's see. The live stream team's working to see if they can get the audio back up. Um, but while we're waiting for Alejandro's audio to come back up, this shirt you can get at shop.angel.com. Um, get yours today. Oh, did we get his audio back? Is that working? No. Um, so this shirt, Cabrini, is a really powerful shirt because it shows the world that Cabrini had goals that were beyond herself. She had goals that were more meaningful and more powerful than any individual. And, and, uh, and it's a really, really powerful shirt, and it's a conversation starter. And so, again, you go to shop.angel.com to get yours today, uh, which is really, really, really powerful. So while we're waiting for Alejandro's audio to come back on, 
I want to go over a couple other things. And again, you can go to angel.com slash Cabrini and you can buy your tickets for 50% off right now. The tickets are on sale right now. It's so critical that we show the theaters that these stories matter, that people want to hear these stories, that stories that amplify light are so much more important than any story on earth. And so the army of angels that are watching, uh, we're so grateful for all your support to date. Please go to angel.com slash Cabrini. Get your tickets 50% off tonight only for early bird. It's automatically applied as you check out. Um, but it's extremely important that you get tickets for opening week. Opening week is the time that we tell the theaters that this has a massive amount of demand. Guys, beyond just the fact that this is a story that amplifies light, this film is a cinematic masterpiece. It is one I've heard people say, I went that, or did early screenings, they said, this, is must have, what, this must be what it felt like for the people who first watched The Godfather, for example. And for those who know what that film is, it's a cinematic masterpiece, but um, other people have said, you know, this is a 10 out of 10, should be considered for the Oscars. Um, it's, it's just such a powerful, powerful film. And the way it's shot, every single scene and every single frame is a beautiful, gorgeous painting. It feels that way. It feels to that impact. So go to angel.com slash Cabrini, get your tickets right now, 50% uh, off, you can get your tickets. Um, again, the reason pre-sales are important is because it affects how many locations we can get to around the nation. We're in 1,500 locations right now, which is amazing, but we want to get up to 3,000 plus, which would be absolutely phenomenal. We'd be competing with all the biggest blockbusters. Dune's coming out the week before us, and I think there's a bunch of other huge films that are coming out around that time. And so we've got our work cut out for us, but like Sound of Freedom, the people have shown time and time again, um, and his only son, and after death, and the shift, that, we've, that if we come together, we are going to have a massive impact. Wow, we already have fans going and buying tickets. This is awesome. Read up, purchase five tickets um, in, in New Mexico. Another fan just purchased two tickets in Cedar Hills, Oregon. Thank you so much for your contributions. Don, purchased one ticket in... Ohio, thank you. Holy smokes. Okay, these are really coming in. A fan purchased two tickets, uh, and uh, I can't even keep up. Nikki, thank you so much, Nikki, uh, for purchasing your tickets at Cinemark. We're so grateful for Cinemark and Regal and AMC and their support. They are supporting these incredible, incredible stories. So again, if you have any questions, comment in the comment section right now, and and make sure that you uh, jump into asking your questions. We'll be answering them as we go along. This is an incredible story. My wife said when she watched this film, she said, this is my favorite thing that Angel's ever done, that Angel's ever brought to the world. She said, this is a film that is not only beautiful, but it'll be a film that I'll watch every year for years and years to come. It's a film that we can't wait to show our daughters as they get older. Um, and, and really, um, our oldest daughter will probably show now. She's nine, but we want her to see it now. Alejandro, can you hear us? It looks like we're we're bringing Alejandro back in. Well, I have, I, I, there I have we go. To, my office, something <laughs> something happens with the, the the something happened with the internet in my office. It just died. Completely. Oh, no worries, no worries. The bathroom's way better anyway. So, yes, <laughs> <I'm kidding>. yes. <laughs> no, well, but Alejandro, we've already had literally dozens of people buying tickets. A fan just purchased four tickets in Colorado. Uh, another fan just purchased two tickets in Oklahoma. Um, there's literally dozens and dozens of people buying tickets right now. Another fan just purchased four tickets in, in Cinemark. Oh, nice. and, and, and so the people are flush. Sandra, thank you, Sandra. It's from Cinemark. Going to Cinemark and purchasing your tickets. Luis uh, purchased two tickets. New I cannot keep up with how many people are <laughs> buying tickets. I just can't keep up with it. Okay, so before we get to... Um, anything else, Alejandro? Tell me about this this phrase. The world is too small for what I intend to do. Why? Why, why did Cabr Why did you have Cabrini say that? What? Why was that important? Well, that was an actually line that she said. And you know, when I read the script and I read that line, I was like, either this is the most pretentious line I ever read, <laughs> or or she truly meant it, or she truly meant it, and. Now think about it. She said it. She didn't say the world is too small for what I intend to do while I'm alive. And now her legacy continues on. And her legacy continues on throughout this film. And this movie, really, she was a fighter. She was somebody who never gave up. And that was the spirit of Cabrini. 
and she knew what she was capable of, you know, the power of one. And uh, it's it's a line that really, really, <clears throat> when you look back after she said it and you look everything she accomplished and everything she faced and defied, you know, even that itself, you know, every year they will tell her you have two years to live. And she was able to squeeze many decades. That's so uh, it's it, it's a meaningful, meaningful line looking at back after she said it, you know. Oh, all yeah. This money, it's, money, I, money I'm years. so excited to wear this shirt around because it's just it has so much deep meaning for me personally. And and it's it's a beautiful line because it, it causes conversations to start. Like, what do you mean by that? The world's too small. So go to shop that angel dot com. Get your shirt today for Cabrini and wear it proudly. This film is going to shock the world. This is a film that, like I was saying while Alejandro was gone, is it, my wife has literally told me after she watched the film, she said, this is my favorite project that Angel's ever brought out. And she said, this will be the movie that I watch every year because of how impactful it will be on me and my girls and my family. And, he, and Houston said uh, uh, he's one of the executive producers and one of the financiers of the film, an incredible man and a dear friend of, of Alejandro and myself. He, um, he said that at a screening, a, a, a man stood up and said, every woman needs to see this film, and every man needs to see this film twice. <laughs> but it's, twice. Just, it's just such a great movie. It is so entertaining, so engaging, and, uh, and we are so excited to get to you guys. If you're just joining us, I'm Jordan Harmon, president and co-founder of Angel Studios. We have Alejandro Monteverde, the director of Sound of Freedom, and now Cabrini. And this film is really going to rock the world. We have an, a special uh, s exclusive sneak peek of a, of a scene that you will only see on this live stream. You will not, don't leave, because you will only see it on this live stream. And so you can, uh, after live stream, normally we keep them up. This one's going to have the, the sneak peek edited out. You're not going to be able to see it after this. So make sure you get your friends and your family, share it with people, comment on Facebook. Also get your questions on Facebook. Uh, if you have any questions for Alejandro, please uh, let him know. Um, and we'll be taking those as we go along. Mary just purchased two tickets from Tennessee. Thank you, Mary. We are so grateful for your support. James, uh, another person just purchased two tickets at AMC. Thank you so much. Sherry just purchased two tickets in Missouri. Guys, this is incredible. <laughs> like It's just nonstop people are supporting this. So thank you so much. Um, again, you can go get your tickets at angel.com slash Cabrini. Tonight only, they are 50% off. Early bird tickets, 50% off tonight only. Please go to angel.com slash Cabrini, not just to support stories and amplify light, but get ready to experience something that's on par with anything you've ever seen in Hollywood. Anything. There is, th like, this will be a movie that you'll walk out of and go, holy smokes, how did Alejandro do that? How did his team pull that together? And I'm sure there's a lot of miracles and stories we can get into, but I do want to talk really quickly about um, the, the feedback that you've been getting from not only the audience during screenings, but we have feedback right now from John Lithgow, a video we're going to show of him, an incredible actor who's done amazing things in his career and is extremely talented. He plays uh, the mayor. We're going to watch a, a, an interview with him where he talks about, for him personally, why the experience of sharing the story of Cabrini was so important and why it's so important for the world. And then we're going to get everybody's comments and questions and obviously Alejandro's thoughts on it. But let's roll that clip with John Lithgow and his, his thoughts. Tell us a little bit about when you first got this script, what was your reaction to it? What were your thoughts? What made you want to take part in this? Well, it was, it was very surprising in every conceivable way. I, I really did not know much about Mother Cabrini at all except that she'd done an awful lot for uh, Italian-American immigrants. I, I read the script and I thought, this is a substantial piece of work. Uh, it was very moving. It was, it was, it's blow by blow historical, but it's got a wonderful good heart. It's like, in this day and age, it's so rare to, to read a script, let alone see a movie that is genuinely good, I mean, good intentions, an unironic celebration of an important person. It's wonderful to see a single person, a single character from history who's a real fighter and who will not give up and who has right on her side or his side and who makes enormous changes. This is Martin Luther King and uh, Frederick Douglass, uh, pe people like that. And 
we just are not that aware of Mother Cabrini. Man, that's incredible. Like, I love hearing his thoughts about the deep impact this had on not only him, but I love that saying where he says, it's so rare. And it's sad that it's rare, but he says it's so rare to see a film with such good intentions. Talk to us about that, Alejandro, and, 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 and your thoughts on what John said. Uh, we, lost, we lost your audio again, Alejandro. I apologize. Sorry, everybody, for the technical difficulties. I think we lost his audio again. The um, Can't hear you. Sorry, Alejandro. The, the, uh, the team's working on it. While, while we're waiting for Alejandro to come back, I do want to help everybody understand that are joining us for the first time or are joining us just now. This is a film directed by the director of Sound of Freedom, which took the world by storm. It was seen over 30 million times in theaters by uh, uh, people around the world and, and now has been the top 10 on Amazon for the last month almost. This film has inspired legislation to hopefully end what is happening with child trafficking, and it has inspired a movement uh, that helped the world realize, again, that, I mean, and remember that God's children are not for sale. And so Alejandro created a masterpiece with Sound of Freedom, but his next film is a step up in so many ways. It's such a powerful film. And, and this film represents to me another movement that will begin, a movement that will show the world uh, the uh, Cabrini said, and I believe, that, I don't exactly, I hope I don't slaughter this quote, but she said, the world is broken and only love can heal it. What an important statement for right now. Right now, the world is broken. This is her in the 18, you know, 1880, whatever it was. This, and now you think about that statement and how powerful it is today. The world is broken and only love can heal it. I believe this film has the ability to not only inspire people around the world, because every screening we've done, people walk out encouraged and hopeful and excited about life. And, and this shows that, that the world can be healed through love and through things like what Mother Cabrini did in her life. Cabrini's an incredible example of what that all comes through. So the um, looks like Alejandro's back with us. We're going to have him pop back in here and give his thoughts on on John Lithgow's uh, statement that we just heard a minute ago. But before we jump into that, go to angel.com slash Cabrini. Make sure you get your tickets today. Tonight only, they're 50% off. Um, and, and it's so critical for those who are just joining us. This is You're not just getting tickets to support a story that's really powerful. You're getting tickets to watch a cinematic masterpiece. This is a film that, that, that I said earlier that's not a motion picture. It's a motion painting. This film, every scene, every frame, the music, it was crafted with time and delicacy to make sure that everything just stood out on its own. And the, and the layers and the depth of how things were shot and done, it's so, so powerful. And so um, obviously we just heard that uh, from John Lithgow, uh, his experience around Cabrini. Talk to me about that, Alejandro. Why did you make, why, did, why are you so inspired to make films that inspire and that are just good with good intentions versus everything else is made? Yeah. Well, it's hard to top all your compliments. I just want to keep hearing them. <laughs> You're like, just keep so, them coming. Uh, it really yeah, is that yeah. good. Well, thank you. Thank you. And, you know, the first time I read the screenplay, I was shocked that I didn't know anything about her. And that resonates a little bit with what John said. She was really a character that came to this country with nothing and built an empire as big as the Rockefellers and the Vanderbilts, but it was an empire of hope. All the resources was to give hope to those living on the streets, living with no voice. She gave, she filled people with dignity. And that in itself, it really, really, you know, grabbed me. And I said to myself, her life, it's very artistic in itself. It deserves to be told in the most cinematic way possible. Her life in itself was very, very cinematic. So I wanted to shine a light in her life and I wanted to create, you know, a dance of cinema between our characters and the camera and really use the power of cinema to tell her powerful story. And, and we worked really, really hard. We pretty much, I approached this film completely different than anything I ever done. Everything was choreographed. I, 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 I remember telling the uh, investor one day, uh, Justus, uh, who's 
the one responsible for what I call the Cabrini movement. He's the one that was very called to kind of tell the story uh, on, on her life. And we worked so hard designing every single shot. The two weeks before we started shooting, I, I approached him and I say, look, if I die tomorrow, <laughs> the vision is all here. You will be able to execute it. You know, it's we did all the work on paper, and when we arrived there, it was we showed up to execute, and it was in a way that you just pieced the film together. It's it's everything was in a poetic way, almost edited in camera. I don't want to take credit from the editor because it's it's. I, I told uh, uh, Brian, the editor of of Cabrini, I said. Look, even though the film is already all choreographed and put together, it's almost maybe harder to edit this because it's so sensitive where you come in and where you come out. Yeah. You have to be really in tune with the pacing and the dance. Everything is it's a, it's a beautiful choreography between our characters, the narrative, the music. The music in the film became also like a narrator. Yes, yes. That it's one of those things where I remember when you told me that story of how you choreographed the entire film and every scene. You had this shot Bible that was, I just, it, when you watch the film, understanding that, you start realizing that just, you know, a lot of times you'll see in films where they'll cut between the characters and they'll do all these, you know, cinematography tricks to like cut around things. There are so many shots in Cabrini where it's one consecutive shot that's just choreographed through the entire experience. And when you see those, you're like, whoa, what? The? <laughs> like, it, you, you don't, not everybody appreciates those, but when you told me that and I watched, I was like, holy smokes, that is yeah. amazing. And it's so challenging yeah. to do it. I know I, I, have, I, have, I have watched the film with my wife and I'm in the theater and, you know, the beautiful of what we accomplished together um, that I forget that there's not a cut. So sometimes I, you know, I'm watching the yeah. movie and I'm like, there was not a cut on that scene. You notice that <laughs> I, 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 I had forgotten myself. You know, we were so in the moment that I had forgotten how seamless some of those uh, scenes just came together. Yes, yes. And we actually have an exclude for those who are joining us. I'm Jordan Harmon, president and co-founder of Angel Studios. We have Alejandro Monteverde. He is the director of Sound of Freedom, which took the world by storm. It was a top 10 film in the domestic box office in the entire United States. That's incredible. The last time an independent film broke into the top 10 in the box office was Passion of the Christ. That's how long it's been for a film to do what Sound of Freedom did. And now he's taking it a step up from the standpoint of storytelling and the cinematography and what he's doing. And, and he's telling the story of a powerful, courageous woman in such a beautiful, beautiful way. So go to angel.com. Tonight only, you can get 50% off. Go to angel.com slash Cabrini, and you can get 50% off your tickets. And we can see people. Eric just bought two tickets. We are, we, we've had literally, I think, over 100 or 200 people buying tickets right now. Tonight, it's incredible. Um, but angel.com slash Cabrini, get 50% off tonight only. And if you're just joining us, we're going to show an exclusive scene that's only available during this live stream. So stay tuned. This scene will give you a glimpse into how powerful this film is. After the live stream, the live stream will stay up, but the scene's going to be edited off the end. You won't be able to see it anymore. And so make sure you go get your family, your friends, comment, you know, share it with friends and family so they can come watch this scene. But um, Diane bought four tickets in Arizona. Thank you, Diane. We're so grateful for your support. Um, we have a question here. Uh, let's get that up here on the screen and see. Um, any other questions people have, please comment your questions and we'll, and we'll get to them. Jeremy, a Guild member. First of all, Jeremy, thank you for being a member of the Angel Guild. It's people like you who greenlight projects like Cabrini to be able to be distributed by Angel Studios. You get to be the gatekeepers. Jeremy says, was there a story about Mother Cabrini that amazed you during your research? Oh, that's a great question, Alejandro. Definitely for you. Uh, well, there was a moment in the script that when I, when I, when I first read the script, I didn't know if I wanted to make the movie because I didn't know anything about her. And I was reading the script and I think it was very early, like page four or five. And there was a line that she said, because she spoke with conviction and power. She said, you can serve your weakness, or you can serve your purpose, not both. And that spoke very, very directly to me. Because we all human beings, we have both. And you can, every day, you face that dilemma. Do you serve your weakness or do you serve your purpose? So and she, she was someone 
that when you watch the film, we all wake up with a battle to fight. That's life. You know, we all have, depending on where we are in life, but we all have a battle. And when you see her life, she didn't have one battle. She had multiple battles going on all at the same time, and she never gave up. So that she also had, she had a physical weakness. So she can give in into her physical weakness or serve her purpose and really, really fight. So that was one of the first lines that I remember just being on pitch five or ten and say, I, 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 I'm doing this movie. Oh, man. I, and we need to sometime soon we're going to have a live stream, obviously, obviously with Rod Barr and you, Alejandro, to talk about that question because he also did so much research on Cabrini as well, and you guys just wrote such an incredible script together. Glenn, thank you for purchasing two tickets. Nick, also in, in uh, Missouri, purchased two tickets. Thank you so much. Three tickets. And Christina in Oregon purchased two tickets. Thank you so much. This is a film that's going to surprise. It's going to – I remember watching it. And, and I couldn't uh, articulate it, but then later when we were talking, Alejandro, if you remember this conversation, someone brought up, they said, I felt embarrassed that I didn't know more about Cabrini. And that's how I felt. I was like, how yeah. do I not know more about this woman? I feel embarrassed that I don't know more about her and her incredible life. Um, the, uh, we are going to show you guys an exclusive peek here in just a bit. Uh, stay tuned. It'll only be during this live stream. Make sure you comment your questions. Uh, in, in the comments, um, also like, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends and family. Um, this is a film that's really, really important, but it's really important that you get tickets now because it shows the theaters how much demand there is for films like this. So March 8th, this is coming to theaters on March 8th. I know that's a long ways out, and a lot of people go, well, I don't know what I'm going to do on March 8th. Don't worry. Angel has created a ticket protection program so that if you get your tickets right now and your plans change, you can change your ticket to any other time of equal or lesser value up to an hour before the showtime. So don't stress. Just go get your tickets for that opening week and, and support this incredible film, angel.com slash Cabrini. Tonight only you can get 50% off, and it'll allow us to get more and more locations. We're at 1,500 locations right now, Alejandro. That's, that's amazing wow. that this incredible. far out we're at 1,500 locations. Um, but uh, let's pull up that question. We have a question that just came in. Let's see what we got here. Um, Tara, uh, uh, says, how was it to work with such a large cast? My daughter, Grace was an orphan in the film and she loved every day on set. Thank you for making it such an enjoyable experience for her, Alejandro. Well, that is awesome. That's cool. <laughs> how was it working with such a large cast, Alejandro? Well, you know, this was a very, very, uh, ambitious film, um, just like any independent film, we were very, very limited with everything. And I believe limitation is creation. So every single day, it was very, it's very, very challenging. But at the end, there was something powerful happening within the film. I, I, I do think that the spirit of Cabrini, you know, we were shooting in New York. Um, that we were really attempting, I always compare this as climbing El Capitan with no ropes. You fail, oh, you die. And, you know, there's a line that she says, we're both or we die. And that was a constant uh, theme to our film uh, while we were shooting. There was a constant challenge continually. And every day was, you know, like any other film. It was, it's becomes really, really challenging. But in this particular film, uh, yes, we had some scenes with a lot of people. And, but it always at the end will come together somehow. Uh, we will end up with, with the shot that, that we needed. And I'm very, very grateful for all the people uh, uh, that came every single day, dress up and, and, and be in the film. Yeah, that's awesome. Every, every person counts on a film. That's one of the things a lot of people don't realize is when you get onto a film set, it doesn't take a director to make a film. It takes a director and a crew of literally dozens and sometimes hundreds of people. And so it's just an incredible, an incredible endeavor from a group of people. So, um, again, March 8th, Cabrini's coming out. Tonight only you can get 50% off for getting early bird tickets at angel.com slash Cabrini. Um, don't worry about, you know, a lot of people go, well, that's so far out. I can't plan that far ahead. We've created a ticket protection program that's going to allow you to change your ticket anytime up to an hour before the, the show time to any time you need of equal or lesser value. So get your tickets tonight. Make sure you get them from opening week that shows this, the theaters how important and how much demand there is for this film. 
Um, and then, uh, yeah, make sure you leave your comments and questions in the comment section. We'll be getting to them as we go along. Obviously, we're going to be getting people's reactions and Alejandro's reaction of mine from this clip that we're about to show. So stay tuned for that. Brian just purchased two tickets in, in Washington. Thank you so much, Brian. We're so grateful. Michael just purchased a ticket uh, at an AMC Classic at Jefferson Point. A fan just purchased a ticket for uh, in New York. Thank you so much for doing that and supporting this incredible film. The um, Anyway, so I know everybody wants to see this exclusive scene. Everybody wants to, you know, hear about, more, you know, see more of this motion painting that we keep talking about. And so we're going we're gonna to jump into this. Um, but I just want everybody to realize that this is just a small peek at the power and the magnitude of this incredible film and how it's going to move the world. Cabrini said, the world is broken and love can heal it. That is so true today more than any other time in the world. This film has the power to heal the hearts and the souls of people around the world. And so make sure you get your tickets at angel.com slash Cabrini. Tell your friends and family about it. It's coming on March 8th. Um, this is going to be such a powerful film. Wow, someone just bought six tickets. Barb just bought two tickets in Ohio. Thank you so much. Okay, let me see if there's anything else I need to go over or I'm missing anything before we jump into the scene. I, I don't think so. So Alejandro, we're going to jump into this scene and then get our reactions afterwards. But this is an exclusive sneak peek for only those who are on the live stream tonight. So if you again... If you have friends and family, bring them in now because you're not going to see this again uh, until March 8th. This one will be edited out of the live stream after this is live. Um, and make sure you stay tuned for future live streams because we might be showing some other exclusive sneak peeks and scenes um, uh, that are live stream exclusives. So we'll be having live streams on a regular basis for Cabrini, but um, stay tuned. Make sure you hit the notifications bell, subscribe, check out the Angel app, and you'll see all that information. So let's jump into that scene, and uh, we'll catch you at the end. That was incredible. The, um, this film um, moves me every time I see it. Uh, Alejandro's having a little bit of audio issues. He's going to be joining on here really quick again. But I just wanted to, um, again, you can go to angel.com slash Cabrini and get your tickets tonight, only 50% off, early bird tickets. And, and don't worry that it's March 8th. We have a ticket protection program that allows you to change your ticket in showtime uh, anytime up to an hour before the release. So get your tickets right now. That shows the world in theaters how important this is and how important these stories are. And, uh, and so you can go to angel.com slash Cabrini and get your tickets now. We're already in 1,500 locations and growing daily. Um, and it's very, very exciting. I, we're already getting some reviews from critics coming in. And I wanted to read one of the, one of the highlights from one of the reviews from um, the, the – uh, from Tony, uh, I can't pronounce your last name, Tony, I apologize, but uh, it says, Monteverde skillfully balances the narrative, ensuring that the underlying themes are not only thought-provoking, but also emotionally resonant. In the end, Cabrini emerges as a piece of cinematic art that offers both entertainment and substance. This film is a cinematic masterpiece, and people need to watch this in theaters is an experience that you will never forget. It, it is going to have a, an immense imprint on your heart and your life uh, for years and years to come. It's films like this that teach truth and influence culture at a broad scale. Alejandro's back on, so we're going to pull him on, um, and we're going to talk about this scene um, that we just experienced here of this reporter who Cabrini goes to and says, you've got to write about this. And, and she, and he obviously, you know, is a little skeptical and says, yeah, well, I don't, I only write about stories that people, <laughs> people read. Um, and, uh, and, and she was able to take him to the depths of the darkest places of New York and help him realize the pain that people are experiencing and how important it is that um, people are aware of that. But Alejandro, tell us about you, you know your reaction seeing this scene again. Obviously, you sh you shot the scene uh, with Gorka and your team, and and you're so familiar with it. But you know, what's your reaction tonight watching that again? Well, I I love this this scene because you can hear from a third voice, you know, what Cabrini was doing. But when I was first introduced to that world, 
you know, it was through the photography of Jacob Rees, and I was looking at the extreme poverty of five points. It was very shocking because when you think of America, you don't think of extreme poverty. And we wanted to recreate that world. Literally, we were taking pictures. One of some of the first photography, uh, which Jacob Rees is an incredible uh, photographer and was able to capture, you know, the, the extreme poverty that was going on in New York, especially in Five Points. And we literally recreated a lot of those um, pictures to oh like, yeah i mean the, the boys tell us about the boys if two of those who just watched is the three boys in the gutter yeah. tell us about that that is that is exactly a a jacob reese picture we recreated it we recreated that and we recreated a few others and that in itself you know that scene uh in many ways was true you know people were not familiar because new york was you know blooming in terms of this powerful uh, city that was just growing up, but people were not familiar within New York on the street pharmacy that was going on in Five Points. So we wanted to capture that and really take our audience through that, uh, through that journey. Yes, most this, is a, this is a recreation of a, an actual photo. Um, and it's, it's so powerful. It's a moment where it, it, it tears your heartstrings I remember actually it was during this scene that I, because I had just met you, Alejandro, hours before watching this film. Uh, I flew out to LA, if you remember, and we chatted and, and had lunch together. And, and then we went to this movie and I watched Cabrini. And obviously we were in the process of building out the campaign for Sound of Freedom and getting really excited about that. But I remember it was right after this scene. I shouldn't have texted in the theater, but I couldn't help it. I texted Neil and Jeff and I said, guys, I think we've discovered the next Frank Capra. Like this, this guy is incredible. And, uh, and so this is one of those films where when you watch it, you have to see it in theaters. You have to experience it in that environment. So go to angel.com slash Cabrini. You get 50% off your tickets tonight. It's coming out on March 8th. But it's critical that you get your tickets ahead of time right now because it shows the theaters how much demand there is for this. We already have 1,500 locations around the nation, which is unprecedented. I'm telling you, unprecedented for 1,500 locations to be already giving tickets on sale eight weeks out. But we need to continue that unprecedented behavior by pushing them to 2,000 and then to 2,500 and then to 3,000. And so we have incredible partners at Regal and Cinemark and AMC. They've been so supportive, but tonight only you can get 50% off for early bird tickets. Don't worry about, like a lot of people say, well, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing on March 8th or that weekend. We've created a ticket protection program so that if you buy your tickets today and your plans change, you can move them to a different day or a different time up to an hour before the show time. So don't stress on that. We've got that all figured out for you so you don't have to stress about that. This is an incredible film that's going to impact the world in such a beautiful way. And um, anyway, so <clears throat> if you have any other questions you'd love to get to us, please comment in the comment section. Get us your questions. I know we've got a couple more or at least one more question that, that we wanted to go over. Um, but this this film, guys, is is truly one of those films that can be a once in a generation film, um, and and we need everybody's support to show the world how important stories that amplify light are. There are so many incredible projects that are coming on the pipeline that Cabrini is going to continue to shine a light into the world. But Cabrini is one of those stories where um, if once you experience it, there's nothing quite like it. Um, uh, any questions that we can pull up right now? Uh, and we can, we can kind of close with some questions and okay, let's get those questions going up. Let's see what we got here. Um, we're going to pull up some questions. It says, Tara says, how is it to work with the, Oh, we already got that question. We already answered that. Thank you, Tara. Andra says, what is the movie rated? Is it appropriate for my 11 year old to watch? That is a great question. Angel's policy is always that we're not your parents and you should never trust rating systems. But for me personally, I'm going to have my nine turning 10 year old daughter watch this with me. Like this is a very important film and I want her to see this, but I went and screened it first. And so, you know, take there, there is some violence. There is some heavy subject matter. Um, and we don't know the rating officially yet, but that being said, we can promise you that like every other angel film, there's truth and light ingrained into every moment of it. And so even though there's some moments of, of difficult subject matter to take, it's also 
um, done in such a beautiful, calculated way that allows for the viewer to feel incredibly uplifted. Um, I love, uh, there was this review that landed on Angel's, um, on Angel's uh, app in the App Store. And, and I just wanted to, to show that, read this review, and I'll kind of modify it for theaters. But basically, someone posted on, on, our, on our reviews on the App Store. Let's see if I can find it. Um, I apologize. I'm trying to find where, where it went. Um, oh, man, I can't find it. I, but basically, the review was saying that... Um, oh, here it is. It says... Uh, the only streaming service that leaves you better than it found it than it found you. And I would say that goes for theater as well. Angel's goal is to tell stories that amplify light. And our goal is that we will be the only studio that leaves you better than when you found it. And, and Cabrini is zero exception. This is a film that will have so much impact on you, your teenagers, and, and, uh, and you get to decide how young you want your kids to watch it. For me personally, I want my, my, my nine-year-old turning 10 and my seven-year-old turning eight to watch it with me. Um, they're, they're, it's just such a beautiful film, and it has so much truth ingrained into it. Um, but go to angel.com slash Cabrini. You can get 50% off tonight. Um, and, and don't worry about you know, the fact that it's coming out on March 8th. Go get your tickets right now, because if you get your tickets early, it shows the theaters how much demand there is for this. And, and it also helps them open up more locations for more people to be exposed to this incredible story. And this is how we influence culture. This is how we get people talking about Cabrini and, and moving the movie along in a grassroots way. So we got one more question and then we're gonna close out. Let's get that last question up. It says, Diana says, what is your goal for this film? What is the main message you want people to leave the theater with? Why don't you, why don't I say what I would love from an angel perspective, what people to leave with theater with, and then we'll have you close out Alejandro with what you, from a creative perspective, want people to leave with. From angel's perspective, sure. we fell in love with his story in part because it's just one of the most beautifully shot films I've ever seen. Um, it's, 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 um, everybody that sees it, not, most everybody that sees it, they say this is an incredible film or they'll say this is a top 10 film for me. I've heard people say this is a top three and I've heard people say this is their favorite film of all time. Um, that's how powerful this film is. And it, and it inspires you where when you leave, you feel hopeful about life. You feel encouraged and you feel inspired to do more like Cabrini did on an everyday basis. And so we want these stories to amplify light into the most furthermost parts of the world so that people around the world can experience these stories, that it can influence culture, and it can allow people to be better because of it. So the, from Angel's perspective, that's why I'm very excited about this, and that's one of the goals for this film. Alejandro, for you, what's, what's the goal? What do you want people to take away from this film? Well, first, man, you're so good in front of the camera, you know? So <laughs> Whatever. I may, uh, you may be surprised next time you're going to see... We're going to see you in one of our movies. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I live uh, behind the camera. camera. There's a saying Jeff always says. He says, Harmons live behind the camera. We, we're happy here. Yeah. We get a, we get a, you know, market and distribute these things and, and get it out to the world. But um, thank you. I appreciate it. But go ahead. Well, to, to that question, you know, when I was uh, in film school, uh, I wanted to make films just because I love cinema. That was it. There was no purpose uh, behind. I just love cinema and I just wanted to make films. I didn't care what kind of films. I just want to make movies. And then one day I went to see a film, uh, saw in the theaters by myself. It was Chindra's List. And I remember that that movie began for me when I left the theater. It, 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 it left me in a state of reflection. And I started to ask existential questions. But I remember saying, I want to make cinema like that. That's the kind of movies. And it gave me a purpose. You can serve your purpose or you can serve your weakness, right? Gave yeah. me a purpose as a storyteller, as a, as a filmmaker. And for me, Cabrini is one of those films. You know, I, when we did the testing uh, for audiences, you know, that was one of the films that people were comping at, Chindra's List. Uh, obviously, Cabrini, <laughs> you know, Chindra's List is very inspirational. Uh, this one, this is a film that for me, I do want to make a comment what? for those who asked about ratings. Yeah, it's not Schindler's List in, in graphic nature. <laughs> I, I wouldn't take my nine-year-old to Schindler's List, but yes, continue. 
Yeah, and, and thank you for clarifying that. I, I think it's 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 the when people compare it with Shinra's <laughs> list, it was more about the, the impact, character, the sire. How it affected them. This, the, yeah. His desire of realizing, you know, at the end when he says, I could sell my car and save one more human being after he already has saved thousands of people. It's one of Cabrini's motos was a life no live for others is a wasted life. But more importantly for me, what I feel audiences have gotten out from my experience, what I've when I have been going and experienced audiences reactions to to the film it's how they get impacted to keep going, to face their giants, to face their battles and not give up. You know, we all, again, have our battles. And this movie, it's very inspirational to keep up, to keep going and, 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 and to, keep, to keep going. You know, so that's, that's <laughs> one of the um, main things that I, I, I'm excited for people to experience this, this movie painting, like you said. Yes, I couldn't agree more. You guys, like we said, go to angel.com slash Cabrini. Show the theaters how much demand there is for such an incredible film. You get 50% off tonight. Um, this is a film that will move you. It'll rock you. You'll be embarrassed that you didn't know more about Cabrini <laughs> like I was, but in the most positive way. Uh, the, um, this film is, a, is one that you have to experience in the theaters, and it has the potential to truly heal a broken world. The world is broken, and like Cabrini said, love can can heal it. So again, we're so grateful I mean, for all I, I want, I, Oh, go ahead. And I want to say I want to say something as you were talking. You know, Cabrini's life shine a light on those with that dignity, and you know, her life in itself was very artful. And for us to go and see this film, it's a way to shine a light on her life. So it is. It is. It is kind of all coming together and you know lighting on this film is also a character uh in itself so i i invite everybody to come and and, and join and experience her life it, it, it is it is an experience more than watching a film you're gonna have a in many ways a cinematic experience 100 percent, 100 percent. angel.com slash cabrini 50 percent off tonight it comes out on march 8th um this is a film that again, don't worry about if you don't know your plans on March 8th. Get the tickets for that opening week. We have ticket protection, which will allow you to change your ticket anytime leading up to an hour before the showtime. Um, this is a film that is going to, I believe, have an impact on the next century of not only our culture, but cinema. And so please, please get out there, watch this film, share it with your friends and family. It is such an important one. Uh, we already have 1,500 locations. Let's push to where we can get. 2,000 locations and then 2,500 and three, like this film has that potential. And so again, March 8th, International Women's Day, you can join this incredible movement of continuing Cabrini's mission of spreading her empire of hope around the world and healing this broken world. So we're so grateful. We're going to close with watching the trailer one last time. And uh, Alejandro, again, like always, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate you. Um, oh, audience. Uh, I missed it. Audience's reactions. We have audience reaction video that we've got to play before we go, Alejandro. Don't, don't leave. Thank you. Thank right. you. Uh, let's get some audience reaction videos that um, people who have watched this film and how what their experience was. Let's pull those up. Go ahead and put, we're going to close with, we're going to close with the audience reactions and, uh, and that, that'll be the end of this live stream. So thank you again. Go to angel.com slash Cabrini and get 50% off tonight. So we'll close with this video of the audience reactions. Thanks, Alejandro. Appreciate you, brother. All right. Thank you. I loved the film Cabrini. I left feeling very empowered and feeling that I'm being called to question how I can go out and change the world. Because Mother Cabrini, the whole story was about a woman who had faith and hope and who never let a challenge stop her. She just used her faith and hope to draw on that to give her strength as to how she could overcome any challenges that she faced. And I thought about it, I thought, she reminds me of Mary, because Mary said yes to God, and Mother Cabrini said yes to God. And so I'm leaving this film today feeling, what can I do in my life to say yes to God? What I see Cabrini bringing is light into the darkness. The story of Francesca Cabrini is a story of empowerment, of female empowerment. It's a story of inspiration, and we're in a world today that needs to be inspired. 
And I believe that this film captures that inspiration like no film I've ever seen before. I'm a student here at Cabrini. I am currently a junior. I would definitely recommend watching it. It not only like touched me, but I know it touched a lot of my friends too, especially those who like aren't religious, but saw the aspects of like how her mission went. It was great. It was very inspirational, especially her as a woman, an immigrant woman coming to, to help out children, children in need and always being turned away, but she found a way. I loved it. it you know, it was, it was uh, an emotional ride of um, just an amazing story that I didn't know much about. I've got six daughters. And, you know, we watch a lot of Marvel movies and things like that. And obviously there's a whole move towards, you know, these women superheroes. And I saw about our Cabrini is like, that's a superhero. Like, that's who I want my girls to, to have as a role model, not Captain Marvel and all this other stuff. Like, this is a story that every girl needs to see. Cabrini was such a, a beautiful story, beautifully made film. And to me, as I was sitting there watching this film that takes place in the late 1800s, early 1900s, I just couldn't stop thinking about how the message of the story was so relevant today, um, how much it's the same story of, of people that don't respect the immigrants that are here and, and how much we all need to be a part of changing that story, you know, and helping those and accepting everyone and knowing that we are all, um, all children of God. And so I love this movie and I look forward to seeing it be released. We know the women our age and we know that um, not a lot of them think the way that we do in these certain things, but I hope that they will watch this because she's so inviting into her story and into her mission. I hope that they will feel invited into it instead of opposed, that they'll let, like, even from the first shot of it, like it just draws you in and from the beauty of it as a whole, I think that they'll be drawn in by the beauty of the movie and then subconsciously like realize like her greater mission and like her real devotedness and her humility and her courage is something extremely admirable. And she's not loud, she's not, She's not um, disrespectful. She's not obnoxious about it. She's she's so strong, and she she's a really great example of like who we need to be looking after, like looking to, and like just taking example from. I'm gonna cry already. Cabrini, Armana Cabrini. I relate to it in such a way that it brought me back to my childhood. I'm originally from Paraguay and I've been in the United States for now 30, 31 years. And, you know, you always think about what you're doing in life and if you're doing enough and if you actually uh, any servant to the world. And today with this movie, I realized that I'm not doing enough. 